Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's episode, we will look at page transitions. We will have a look at a couple examples, we'll try to dive into the code and we will discover one very, very interesting plugin that will help you to create page transitions on your own projects. Page transition, I've received this question many times over the last couple of months or actually years. Everyone is asking me how to create page transitions between pages. When you click on the link, instead of refreshing the page, we want to see some nice animation out and animation in. And this question, I got the last one from Max. How are animations between pages created? After the click on the link, is the page put together using Greensock? So in this video, we will look at three websites of the day award-winning websites with page transitions and we'll try to figure out how the effect was created and how you can create it on your own projects too. Let's bring up the first example, the Great Wisdom Buddhist Institute website. Cool website created in, I think this was from US. I can't see it. And as you can see, it's using jQuery 3.js. Greensock is not on the list but it is using Greensock for the animation. As you can see in the top right, we've got the Greensock sniffer on. And this website is using, uh, using page transition when you go into the menu and try to navigate to another section. So let's say we want to go into the about a section, we see animation out and then a nice transition in. Okay, so as I said, this page is using page transitions, JavaScript page transitions. So the URL is changing straight when you click on the menu item and then the current elements on the page disappear and the new ones are fading sl slowly in. This creates a nice cool page transitions. Now let's have a look at another example, NDH Way from France by Timothy Russell. Russell, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the French name, but this is a cool website. And again, it has page transition. When you again click on these navigation items, you'll see things fading out and the new items are sliding in from the side. So this doesn't have a transition overlay, but the slides or the side feels like a massive slider. And these are another way how you can create page transitions on your own projects too. Okay, so we'll have a look how this is created. And then the last item we want to have a look at is this restaurant and bar website for Larry. Let's see where this website is from. I think this might be German. Valeri, Valeri, let's scroll down, try to find it. Austria, it's from Austria by Dreist. For Larry bar and restaurant, and if I refresh the page, just to make sure it loads for us, I'll mute the sound. We don't want this to be disturbed. But cool video in the background. But the main uh, main reason why we're looking at this side is again menu, which will bring this slider. This is the swiper slider. If you're familiar with the swiper slider, that lets you drag items and swipe to the next one. If we click on the mer and foreign, which is more information, it again changes the URL, things fade out and fade in on the next page. Okay, so all these three websites we just looked at have a cool page transitions and they have something else in common. And then that is the use of Greensock. Okay, so all three websites are using Greensock for the animations and they have some sort of method or some, some function in the background that when you click on the link, we're hijacking the, the functionality. We don't want the link to go to any URL. We want to hijack it, animate everything out. So there is a function, animate out or hide, hide items, whatever you want to call it. And then we change the URL and animate everything in. So you need two functions, one animate out, one animate in, and trigger them at the right moment. If we look at the code from the volary.at, you'll see that we have the handle menu click method 
and inside of it it's quite a few if statements and obviously this code is minified uglified so it's not very easy to read but you can get the sense of what you need to do on your project you will need to check whether the items or whether the navigation is currently animating or when the menu is open and then inside of it we or the developers checking the swiper active index and if it's not the current one so if you're clicking on an item that is currently the visible page you don't want to see the same animation and then we are transitioning swiper slide to index and we're passing it few parameters and this is the animation you want to go to this is the page you are currently on and then after this is finished you want to close the menu okay so you can see that there's few if statements and chaining transitions or chaining events one after the other using the then and that's how you create it or that's how it was created on this volary.at website now let's have a look at the code from the other website where we have the swiper slider and clicking on education reloads the page and oops i was already on <laughs> that page so let's go to teachings and refresh the page or not refresh the page but transition to the next page and we will look at the code from this website and if i search i think it was move pages for move pages method that's where the green sock is in tween light we setting the new container the page we want to go to to visibility visible and opacity zero and then we are transitioning it and on complete we are using the clear props all which will just remove all all the inline styles after the animation is finished so here is plenty of green sock timelines and on complete on update methods as well and then we have the barba.pjx pj ajax <laughs> we've got this barba okay so let's do a quick google search what the barba js is okay must be create bad as fluid smooth page transitions between websites pages okay so this is a standalone library that you can use on your own project and obviously it has a how it works documentation so you can create exactly the same transitions as you see on this page using barba.js okay so i haven't looked too much into this library i don't know too much about it i've discovered it just like you discovered this video and i will definitely look into it looks like it's a very simple way how you can install it using npm and or include it on the page like this and this should just do the magic okay so if you don't want to do the hard work and do all these custom methods on your own and you feel more comfortable using plugins this barba.js looks like it's a perfect plugin for page transitions and if we try to look at the andywayart.com and see how the transitions of the menu were created you'll see a lot of javascript styles apply to your elements or to the elements on the page when the transition is happening so that tells you that the javascript is in charge of all these inline styles and all the code is on this page is bundled probably using webpack so it's very hard to dive into it even more but just by simply exploring the source code or the elements and seeing which of them have animations on or have the inline styles on them gives you an idea how and which of the elements are transitioning using greensock or javascript now let's recap what you need to do on your own project if you want to create some of these page transitions you need to hijack the button or link click you need to prevent the default event on that link or element then you need to have some method or function that will animate things out and then you will need to set the visibility or opacity of the next page to zero or hidden and then you will animate it in so you will have another method that will transition the new page in okay if you don't want to do this from scratch and you found the javascript being too overwhelming then we found the cool baba.js that will help you to create these page transitions 
And that's it all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this page transition episode and let me know in the comments. Are there any other elements of interactive websites that you want me to deconstruct next time? Let me know in the comments. And before I let you go and watch the recommended video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding.